Hi, this is Bob with Kids RV. It's a new one looking at a 1997 Trumpy Cow. That's a motorhome with one slide out. See, this is a gas motorhome. We're looking at the front here. You can see the decals show a little wear and tear. This is a back row special, but we're getting so much interest on it. I mean, daily, over and over. This is deposit. We're getting numerous deposits. It is not like new condition, okay? It's, it's a, a back row as is unit for reasons. You can see this handle's broke. There's just some items that need attention. Uh, the handles have been spray painted here, but let's just kind of open it up so you can see what we've got. It's a project for someone's storage. Um, it's got the dual rear axles. The tires, they look pretty good. I mean, they're thick with tread. I don't know quite how old they are. We've got like a couple different types of simulators up here on the front again a little bit of cupping but lots and lots of tread I don't see any checking that's the scary part in motorhomes if you see checking there's a chance of a blowout so we always try and either point that out to a customer you know and or warn them if we see it there the back side here it does have the ladder it has a little rack someone has built on it has a receiver hitch camera don't know if it works or not back here we have a uh, spare tire carrier there is no generator someone has removed it that would have been in this slot right here plumbing hooks up here again these tires as you can see we don't see checking we even have rubber nubbins on the thing so they darn near new at least these they fire a couple different brands with different what we got here wild what does that say wild peak hts and those are firestone transports got different tire they're mismatched but they they're fairly new slide out um little discoloration we see we've got the toppers gone looks like the roof's been snow coated see the white coating up there so that's kind of a last ditch fix. You do that and it's, it's kind of permanent unless you take the roofing off. Got a little D-lamb right at the floor line here. See it's swollen just a little, but uh, we've got a little bit of it here, but underneath, don't look bad. Maybe a little bit of soft just starting here in the corner, but it's hard to say without tearing one apart. It's a project. I mean, let's go inside, see if this is something you want to tackle. Where's Richard Rawlings? We need a fast and loud guy here to take this one on. Step inside and looks like someone has replaced all the furniture. They've painted in here. They put different flooring, a couple different seats, uh, duct tape, it's a wobbler. Miles are unknown. I think it's over a hundred. There was a TV. Uh, the walls might be a little rot right there and I did feel maybe underneath this yeah it's someone overlaid the floor on a soft spot here and feel it a little bit sofa looks fairly newer side kitchen refrigerator it's a 110 volt with some homemade straps here to keep the doors closed on our way back here's the bedroom no doors to the closet, no curtains, a few water stains, but not real bad. I mean, it's obviously had some leaks in the past, but there's no weird odors going on. There's our bathroom. Um, if you're looking for a great chassis to start with, this might be the project for you. It's a 1997 Tropical, I believe the model's an M235, and it's right here at Gibbs RV in Coos Bay, 1-800-824. 4388 see us on the web at www.gibbsrv.com